Hey guys, welcome to my, back to my place. And today I'm going to finally get around to doing a, a video, a quick, quick tear down, if you will, though not really tearing this down, of this thing. This is a Linksys. This box is basically a disk drive emulator for the later model control data cyber systems. Now, this is basically a a Cyber 170 channel to SCSI converter that emulates, I believe it's 844s, maybe 885s, maybe both. But uh, basically, you can hook just plain old SCSI drives, apparently, to this thing and to a Cyber. Hey, it looks like some uh, real control data stuff, the, the big 14-inch uh, discs. In any case, I told the... Uh, some of the guys at the uh, Cray Cyber site that I would be taking a look at this uh, to see how how if how and if this thing could be replicated. Uh, I know someone uh, who is uh, who was intimately involved with these things. He says it should be able to be done. So in any case, let's do a quick look at this thing. Rack mount unit, pretty plain, very shiny, very very shiny. On the back, we have a uh, couple of Cyber 170 channels. Looks like this could do host A or host B, so two Cybers. And a couple of SCSI, SCSI ports, a couple of uh, Terminators you see there. And two consoles. I wonder if this was actually like literally a dual unit, if there's just essentially two, two things in one box here. I don't know. I don't know too many de details about this. There's control data sticker there. Control data did not make these. Um, they apparently, apparently they bought them or supported them. Let's take a look inside. Take the panel off. I think it's been a long time since I've been in here. I think this, uh, is all off the shelf stuff based off of VME hardware or at least uh, the form factor. Stick the panel off and uh, sure enough, yes. We have a little uh, status port here, the focus, focus. Busted LED, I'll have to fix that. And uh, some blinking lights, although we can't tell what they are. Some switches, don't know what they do. Fans. Yeah, it does look like uh, your standard VME type of hardware, but probably not VME. Let's take the cards out, because I want to take a look and see what kind of chips are involved here. So we have this jumper thing. Maybe they didn't use the backplane. I don't know. If I can get this out. There we go. And it uh, looks like the screws are pretty much loose, so it looks like it could probably just take the cards out now. Unit 6, whatever that's for. Apparently they did not make too many of these things. So let's see what's what's involved here. So this is the lowest card. And uh, well, it looks like maybe early 90s construction. There we go. Net copyright 1991 by Linksys. Of course this is the different Linksys that, uh, that Cisco did not buy out. <laughs> different company. It does sort of look like, does sort of look like a kind of off the shelf parts, although some of them are a little, a little odd, maybe a little hard to find. Max 235, that's, that's no doubt the, uh, I think that's the five volt only, uh, RS-232 chip. If I were to guess, I would say this is probably the brain of the system. Microprocessor is uh, Motorola there, 68B09, probably the firmware there, little memory. So yeah, this is probably controls the console and maybe, maybe it's the brain. Let's pull out the next card. All right. Okay. Okay, assuming probably some PALs or something like that, I don't know. 
Uh, there's nothing on these that says what the board does. Is anything on the back? Let's find out. Not really. It looks to be pretty standard construction, and yeah, clearly not VME. Next card. Looks pretty similar to the uh, previous one, although this one has the extra connector, but it looks pretty similar. Yeah, it's it's off-the-shelf stuff, it looks like. The pals, of course, you just have to blow those, so you have to, to burn them, of course, but... Uh, Kind of looks like everything is, yeah, we have 74 F series. Looks like a bunch of basically TTL. And, uh, yeah, AS, F. I don't know what these are for. And the last card. Hmm, okay, this one looks interfacey. Linksys logo again. Once again, pretty much off-the-shelf stuff. Yeah, that, that, that very much looks like a bunch of drivers or receivers, so I'm wondering if this was uh, or is the Cyber 170 channel interface. Because there's nothing that says scuzzy about this card, if you ask me. Okay, other than that, I don't know if we can take a look in there. Looks like a pretty standard off-the-shelf card cage. Assuming there's a power supply buried in there. There's some fans. So yeah, it kind of looks like this thing probably could be replicated or studied relatively easily. I don't know. Yeah, it'd be a project, but then again... My friend uh, has uh, intimate knowledge of these things, so that's a big boost, isn't it? In any case, this is uh, kind of a look at this particular device here, the Linksys. It is, as I said, it's a disk emulator for cyber systems, control data cyber systems, and uh, a very handy thing to do to, to have so you can use SCSI on your cyber. Okay. Oh, yes, you can see my stands. A couple of DIs. I've got a lot of DIs. If anyone needs DIs, let me know. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys later. If you have any uh, comments or anything, just leave them, and I'll take a look at them. Also, uh, subscribe and like if you, see, if you like what you see in these videos. Okay. Bye.